We begin with Tiger Woods. As he gears up for his legal fight with ex Erica Herman, I spoke to his former flame, Rachel Yucatel, who had this warning for Tiger's ex. What would be your message to Erica? She has an uphill battle in front of her. You were quoted as saying she's up against a machine. What did you mean by that? You know, Tiger's team is very, he's got a lot of money and uh, she's just one person. So, so she's got a, a lot of work to do if she wants to prove a case. Erica's suing for $30 million and pushing to invalidate the NDA Tiger had her sign. The golf champ's former flame, Rachel Yucatel, knows all about those kinds of agreements. What about you and Tiger? Are you gonna get married to Tiger? She was at the center of Tiger's cheating scandal in 2009. I was unfaithful. I had affairs, I cheated. And more than a decade later, she's still haunted by her decision to sign a 30-page NDA. The lesson that I learned is that no amount of money gets your life back. Um, I'd rather be poor and homeless than have to go through what I endured. I lost all sense of respect, self-worth, friends, family. In return for her silence about her affair with Tiger, Rachel got $5 million and a promise of $1 million annually for three years to follow. Are you sorry that you took that money? Oh, 100%. The money was nothing. Um, compared to what, you know, I got in return, the hatred, the venom. Do you feel bad about Tiger's wife? What were some of the things that happened to you when it was believed that you were getting close to violating your NDA or could violate your NDA? I mean, just me becoming quote unquote famous was breaking my NDA. Are you gonna be an actress in Hollywood? No. <laughs> Anytime I did one thing that I was literally written about, I was breaking the NDA which was crazy. I remember I there was an article in TMZ that I was pregnant. That was a violation of my NDA. I would get a letter every time I was in the paper. You have a 10 year old daughter now. How hard has that been with explaining to your daughter what happened? Well, that's funny, Kevin. I don't have to explain anything to her because it's all over the media, right? Rachel is ready to move on. She's pitching a book and launching a podcast called Misunderstood, all about second chances and life after being reduced to a headline. I've had to fight for my place in life one person at a time to get them to realize who I was because I'm so misunderstood because of a ridiculous thing that happened 14 years ago. 